today. The White House Deputy Chief of Staff, Bill Shine, not backing down from the White House's decision yesterday to block CNN's Caitlin Collins from covering an event in the Rose Garden. Did you ask her if we ever used the word ban? I've seen it on lower thirds. What, what word would you use? Uh, what word would you use? When you ask her if we ever used the word ban, then I will answer that question. You prohibited her? What's the word you would <clears throat> you use? You ask her, focus now. You ask her if we ever used the word ban. Well, you're the White House. Later. Have a great day. Lower thirds are the things you see on the bottom of the screen. And Mr. Shine, banning. Because here's the truth, banning, barring, restricting, not inviting. Frankly, this is a matter of semantics. We stand by what Caitlin reported all the way along, which is that she was told she was not allowed to cover an open press event that you were hosting, Bill Shine, after asking President Trump questions about Michael Cohen at an earlier event in the Oval Office. Okay, this all comes as CNN reports that Bill Shine's influence is rising in the White House. There are days when the former Fox executive sees the president much more than the chief of staff, John Kelly. Out front now, Joan Walsh, national affairs correspondent for The Nation, and CNN political commentator Steve Cortez, member of President Trump's 2020 re-elect advisory council, along with our political commentator uh, and April Ryan, White House correspondent, American Urban Radio Networks. Okay, thanks to all of you. Joan, let me start with you since you're sitting next to me. Yes. Does the word matter, as Bill Shine obviously is saying it does? No, the word does not matter. I mean, we're all journalists here, so let's be honest. Bill's a journalist, too. We shorten things. We've got a li the lower third. We've only got the lower third. We might not say all. E she was uninvited. She was told she cannot come. She was banned. The, the message was communicated that she was right. not welcome there, and she did not go. So this is, this is ridiculous that this ex-journalist is playing word games with journalists, it's, and it's not working. So, Steve, look, you know, presidents get questions shouted at them all the time, right? So yesterday, you know, the, the right. president wanted to talk about trade, and Caitlin asked questions uh, about the Vladimir Putin summit and about the Michael Cohen tape, which, as the only representative for the broadcast media, was a question everyone wanted to ask. And I just wanted to make the point for the viewer that this is the way it goes. And here's how I'm going to make that point. Right. I'm going to show you two presidents who aren't Trump. I'm looking forward to working with the new Congress. Thank you for your time. Saddam's execution was handled appropriately. Thank you, uh, Kathleen Sebelius, for the outstanding work that she's doing, uh, making sure that millions of Americans can get health insurance. Thank you. If you won't negotiate, how can you get a solution? How can you bring an end to this if you won't talk to the congressional leaders? So, Steve, this is how it goes. They say things. They want to talk about one thing. They get, get yelled a question about another. I mean, George Bush certainly didn't want to talk about Saddam's execution, right? I mean, what was he talking about? Right. Oh, yeah, the new Congress. Right. Um, what happened with Caitlin Collins is what happens. This is how it goes. Did, did uh, Shine make a mistake? Uh, listen, Aaron, I think he did, yes. I, I really do. Uh, Journalists are supposed to ask questions, and they're supposed to ask, ask tough questions, and and that happens all the time, and it happened in these in these shouting you know matches which we have. Uh, I will also say, say this: I think part of the reason, though, also why we to defend the White House on some of these issues, the White House believes, and I think correctly so, that the generally the media is so antagonistic toward the White House. And, and literally so biased. <laughs> well, you can laugh, but oh it is literally so antagonistic and so biased. That I'm there laughing are to keep from that... crying because you believe this foolishness. This president came out saying that we are the enemy of the people. We did nothing to him. From the moment he was elected president, even before that, when he thought he was going to be president, he did not want us in the White House. So the antagonism started with this administration. They do not want the tough questions. Steve, don't drink the Kool-Aid. Don't drink it. You understand that a free and fair press is what this country, the First Amendment. So don't play that game. We were warred upon. We did not war upon him. There's not a bias. If oh, this president April, continues to do what no. he's doing, because a lot of the stuff he's doing, no, Steve, no, don't go there. He's tweeting things. That's, he's saying April, Comey that's ridiculous. with tapes and things of that nature. He's confetti. No, it's, it's not. Look it's that, ridiculous. George this is what Bush. the president is doing. We have a right to ask. We have a right to ask. And this president and this administration and Bill Shine, of all people, is going to 
play these, have this war of words on Caitlyn Collins. She is a credentialed member of the press in the pool. And I'm going to say this to you, and, and I think uh, uh, Senator McCain was absolutely right. right. When you start oppressing and censoring the press, it begins a dictatorship. Steve, don't believe the Kool-Aid. Don't Steve, drink Steve, it. Steve, don't it drink it. Don't. True, dictatorship? Are you kidding? See, Hold on. No, no, that needs a response. Attack, dictatorship? Are you kidding? You're kidding. That's the You're way it really? goes. Am I kidding? Yes. I mean... Yes. It's authoritarian. When you're talking about dictatorship, what, makes us, what, what makes us different from China? What makes us different from China and Russia? And, and do you realize how what divorced you different? are from the what reality? What makes us different from no. China? Okay, let's see if respond. What makes Steve. us different from China and Russia? Steve, a let free me, press. Okay, let me give you a chance to respond. Russia, okay, they don't now have we're China and Russia. All right. When you talk about a dictatorship, what makes us do you different? realize a how free divorced press. you are? Free and fair, independent do you press. Really, do you realize how Excuse divorced me? you are from reality? And no American out there, by the way, cares about this nonsense, oh, cares that's about this not true. press that's briefing true. room yes, they nonsense. Do. Okay. Yes, they, they do. don't. And yes, they when you, do. Okay, let's not, see, let's no. see, let's finish no, this point, please, don't. everybody. Let him finish this press. Why he's uh, if, 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 they, if this president suppresses us, the American, it's not about us, it's about the American people oh getting gosh. information. And let me say this to you. Okay. What, what do you mean, oh my really? gosh? Let me say this to you. If, if, we are, if we are the first line of questioning an American president, and if he can't take a serious question, he's thin-skinned, and maybe he should rethink the job. And George because Bush complained this to you. about the press. What's uh, the Barack difference Obama between... Did. What, April, he, April, he complained, but April, he, well, yes. you have shown... Yes. Well, you have shown, and what the entire what White shown, House briefing room has I have shown, shown is that is that yeah is that okay. you are not honest brokers in this in this debate. What you have shown is that I'm you're in honest. opposition. I'm not and you're honest. in opposition to Watch the president. I'm opposition. No, you're not. I've no. been warred and, upon. And, and I still want to do an interview with this president. You're I'm not warred upon. I've been told, stop shaking my head. I've been told to okay, get the Congressional scream. Black Caucus together for a meeting with the president. You can scream, Sarah, but that doesn't Sanders change your lack of honesty I have not done. in covering well, this president my lack in an of honest honesty. way. And what oh, he's doing what for have I been regular dishonest Americans about? What have I been dishonest about? I guarantee you, if they ever try to ban me or take my credentials, there will be a problem. I have not done. I have not lied. I have American. not done okay. anything against this president, but report on everything that he's done. Everything that and he's done. Here, here's from his for, for regular Americans he, who don't care from, about what, what goes on in the true. briefing room, that's which is, by the way, 99% of regular Americans. Say, I have to what say, I have reported on Charlottesville a lie. Okay, the reality of it is, is the whole point is it's supposed to be yes. a conffrontational adversarial relationship of asking questions they don't want to be asked. They pick the reporters they're going to a give interviews to. Obama relationship. picked people that he thought that he liked. Trump picks people that he likes. Bush, pick, that, that's how it goes, that's okay, when they're doing an interview. And then when you get these opportunities, people ask tough questions. That's the way it's supposed to go. Steve, when it comes to this president, Yesterday, right, when he's asked by Caitlin, he didn't want to talk about it. He got mad, and he clearly looks livid. But he there didn't. are times when he's asked questions right. when he's thrilled to jump back in on it. Okay, let me just play some of those. Let's go. Hey, when would you like to signing the executive order? No, no. Uh, the executive order was great. Thank you. Mr. President, who's the next? Yeah. I'll be announcing that on Monday. Mr. President, Monday. Quit the WTO. Uh, WTO treated the United States very badly. And I hope they change their ways. Thank you, everybody. Thanks, everyone. Thank you very much. You think Helsinki? Helsinki could be. Or Vienna. Or Vienna. Yeah. It'll be an person. So the point I'm making there, Joan, is, is, is you know, Bill Shine saying you were asked to leave. And then you asked a question, and that was disrespectful. Right. That, that is what happens the right there, exactly. and the president was happy to answer. And that's, that's just one of many examples, whether it's with this president or other presidents. Right. And the other problem here, uh, Aaron, is that this president has given one official news conference, one regularly mm -hmm. scheduled news conference for his whole <laughs> term with, uh, with groups of people. Stop laughing at us, Steve. That's disrespectful. And also, don't call my friend April that dishonest. Was me. That was me laughing. That was oh, April laughing. laughing. That's right. That, okay. that was me laughing, John. All I'm right. sorry. But well, I'm sorry. I was, you I was laughing, laughing about that. I'm sorry. He's given one regularly scheduled press conference. No, I was. I was conference. laughing at the one, yeah. And that is the truth. And that's when people get together. They send their reporters with questions. They have a strategy. These pool sprays where people don't even know who's going to be called on, maybe one uh, reporter mm -hmm. from each out, uh, each journalistic frame is, is in the room. Those don't count. And maybe he wouldn't get so many hostile questions if he actually sat down regularly with a cross-section of reporters rather than true. people at Fox. What do you say to that, Steve? That's true. Listen. I would like more press conferences. I, th I think the president, the more he gets in front of the oppositional press, 
the better he does. So I, I absolutely, I think he should be on CNN. I really believe that. He should be. Simply, is it not oppositional? I, I mean, say again, do you Steve, really that believe that? The definition that? Way, of a free and fair press is speaking truth to power, and that is holding them to account and asking questions they don't want to be asked. So when you use the word opposition to describe the job of a fair press, a free and fair press, you are doing a great disservice to the country. Really? And I well, say I totally yes. disagree Steve, because you know you what? Just landed, Steve, you know what? Steve, 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 you. Oh. A, a disservice to the country Go ahead. is when the, is when the press pretends that they are objective. And when oh. when I watch that White House briefing room, it is not. You can say, "Oh my God!" You can be exasperated, but you know what? I think any fair person, I am going who to say, that, any non-political because person, you're delusional, will say, and you're a liar. That that is not really. I'm a liar. Really. Here's the thing. Also, here's what you can't get over. You're not worth the we G won in your OP. And we, You're we, not worth we the G won in, in 2016 because, because we won in 2016 because we saw beyond and, and what you f saw. You played on race. Which was a, you played a, a on division. Corrupt, you played on oh, really? race and division. So we won because of racism? Really? Yes. Yeah. So we won. Vladimir you know what? Putin and James April, Comey. I love, yes. I love you brought that up. Job. The people, by the way, the very people who won our election in Michigan and Ohio and Wisconsin in Pennsylvania, those Hillary very Clinton same voters had vote. twice voted. You won the electoral oh, college. Those, you, those, Hillary those Clinton voters had twice voted. Because those Russia helped you. Because, because Russia helped you. Because Russia helped you. Because oh, really? Russia helped you. Really? You won the election. Russia won the election? Oh, really? Yes. Really? Do you okay. want to hang your head on that, that's that what, Russia that's won the election? That's what the your election? Justice Department is saying. That is what everyone's... You owe me an apology, too, because you're trying to slander my name. You better find out where I lie. I want to see something where you say I lie. Oh, you're kidding. You're not worth the G in your OP, Steve. If, if okay. you Honey, believe that Russia won this proof. election, Where am I then lying? you have no business being even in this I, entire well, I, Your Justice Department, what, what, is what is the Mueller about? What is the Mueller about? There's your no president. evidence that Russia's meddling actually altered the outcome of the election. At least thus far, that has been the, the conclusion. Thank you all very much.